Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani back with another video. In this video, we are continuing the Ultimate C Sharp series. And in this video, we are going to learn data types, variables, constants, and read only. So let's get started. If you haven't subscribed this channel, please subscribe this channel. And if you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. So what is variable? Variable is a holder that holds data and let's move to the visual studio let's explain here what is variable first of all we are doing this code in a proper way we are going to create namespace and class and a main method it is the actual way of running your c sharp program so i'm going to write here namespace part 2 class program static void main this main method is the entry point of this application so it is the method that is going to be executed first in this program or in this application so main method is the first method get executed in application so that is main method and we can also say that it is an entry point So let's type here console dot right line a not a hello and let's run this okay fine now let's move to the variable part so variable is a holder for any data whatever you want to store in your program you have to use variable so int a equals to 1 so here a is a variable a is a variable and right here console dot write line a so let's type this and run this program now here you can see 1 in the output window and this int is a data type so here data type defines which kind of data you are going to store in a variable so in our case this int is a data type here so right here int is a data type we have multiple kind of data types and let's see double a equals to 2.5 it stores actually we cannot use multiple variables with same name so let's say here double d equals to 2.5 fine right here d and when we run this so it is the output of this program okay we have some other float some other data types float f for floating that stores floating point values and we have this type bool it stores value in the form of true or false either true or false so it is boolean value so these are some basics data type int flow double decimal char bool date time we also have this char so char char c and it stores a character it is a char data type 
we also have something like this date time dt equals to new date time dt so let's run this program and these are some common basic data types you can find it on internet there are multiple types of data types in c sharp so here 1 2.5 2x and this and this is a date format and it should be like this date time dot now let's see okay it is getting me error i think i should remove this new from here date time dot now and it's not a method it's a property that's it okay so here one two point five true and it is the date it is the current date so that was about variable and data types now we will talk about constants and sometimes in your project you need a constant value to you do not want to change that value in your project so that's where constants are useful and constant is a data that cannot be changed so let's define a constant here so const is defined like this const int x equals to 4 okay and let's comment these things so here so let me explain we can use it like this now you we have declared here int a equals to 1 it is variable it means it can be changed now you can assign 3 to it now if we run this program now it will print 3 in for this a so here we have changed the value of this integer because it's a variable now if we try to write here console x equals to 5 it will say that we have some error here it is giving us a compile time error it means we cannot assign any value to it now it is fixed now let's talk about read only and we will define read only here read only int y equals to 5 and let's try to change this thing here but for accessing it i need to create an object and we will talk about object in later part of this series and so do not worry about that we will explain it later program p equals to new program so here we have created the object of this program now p dot y equals to 10 and what it is saying it is saying a read only field cannot be assigned to or in it only setter type in which and it means we cannot assign a value to it directly for this we need to create a constructor we will also explain it later in this series so right here constructor and 
y equals to 6 we can change its value from the constructor uh, type here p dot y we have initialized it with 5 and changed it from the constructor and assigned 6 to it so let's see what it is printing so here it is printing 6 it means we have changed its value from the constructor and do not worry about these things we will explain it later in this series i will create a separate videos for these things like what is class what is object what is constructor and everything else so apart from uh, read only you need to focus on variable and constants it is the main part for this video so so right now just focus on these things variables data types and constants so that's it for now we will catch up in the next video